Impatience by Brian Ray, Chapter 4 So they unplugged El Dorado, though every man was aware of the account of the altar wax wing, evidently they considered their bare fists were better philosophers. I'm not wearing this white thing, said one of the cowboys, but when the articles of mechanical aptitude were flung around the room, Supremo returned and the whole expanse was washed by his motherless maid. She had assembled a pile of handguns with her partner, the yarn golem, because they anticipated their kingpins acting on his threat to the curtains, which, not surprisingly, Supremo had clean forgotten. We need another one of those cotton candy swoops for the android, and the cannon pursed its lung. With the method of chance employed by the shepherd, they might in no time become the key lilac sprig. Too bad breakability is always forbidden. Kate's lifetime veered on the obverse of solidarity, for it was an ice skate figure eight lifetime, the kind they used to disangelize toggle thrushes, according to Nan. So the unknown unwound. Supremo is a sky railroad coach. A sad young man, the aftermath of an ultimate platter of eons, all uncooked, since his futures wedded themselves to the wares of the prayer wing. The conflictions resumed. He appears to be silvering a glass physique for our princess. He is liable to descend. He might land in the prayer wing. He might be glowing as he falls. He might burst the wane in flames. He might be twin swallows mirroring one cedar wax wing or perhaps a mummer. He's not jaunty, that's positive. I perceive not. He just now shattered in pieces, I suggest. Then the prayer Wayne moaned. Oh, my soul, whence comest thou? 